one man, one very capable man, very good, some of the very best policies of our son 2020 credited to, to him, right? Multimedia super corridor, biotech initiative, all this, very good. But on the other hand, you also have the negative side, right? Dominion, right? Very rare thing. Barikas actually has been one or two years, one or two years, not even met one. Okay? And we always meet this before elections. Okay? More for general elections or by elections. Okay? So that deviated from the goal of bioconnection. So we must reform bioconnection back to basics. One important point is that in the Supreme Council, all of the 14 members have equal representation. And then the Article 12 of the Constitution says, any decision must be unanimous and consensus. And Article 13 says that if any member party, any component party happens to be absent, okay, or after a decision felt that was not correct, they could come back to ask for the deferment of the decision. Okay? It's a very, actually, if you go on the Bible Constitution, Bible Constitution, quite democratic and representative, you know, just that, you know, somehow, over the years, strong men politics, and we never practice mediation from it. So now I'm bringing it back to the Supreme Council. I say, look, you know, we have no even follow, you know, frequency of meeting the Supreme Court Council must be at least twice a year. Okay? Then we push for a management committee headed by the deputy, right? To meet monthly. Right? But I'm I'm pleased to tell you that the Arista National Supreme Council has met four times since March the eighth. So almost one month. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we must meet, you know, not we not meet, you know? We talk about the issues, right? Then the state committee is supposed to meet at least once every two months. The division committee is supposed to meet at least once every two months. And I can tell you, I bet you, most of the division never even met for three years. <laughs> okay? Alright? So, so much so that, you know, we push and then the PM gather all the division leaders and all that and the MP and direct it, you know. I mean, we, we actually, because we were constructing the public, one and two months, you know, Gali just kept going to Ulan. Then he was so excited, he announced, Rule Gali to Ulan. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> almost said, <laughs> <laughs> So the brother really thought it was okay, like, Ulan couldn't have Gali to Ulan. Alright? So we are pushing for that. Because why? Because if we don't mean all the way according to the Constitution, it's what it's supposed to be. We are supposed to actually work as a team. Although we are separate parties, right? But you are all belonging to one coalition today. And I think you follow this. I don't think the Pakistan Rakyat has anything like this yet today. They will probably have to refer to this constitution. Alright? And they must, this is a registered, as you Pakistan actually is a registered society. It is registered, properly registered. And it has also provision for discipline inside the constitution. And if this is not common knowledge, that's why, you know, a lot of people thought it's a loose coalition, never mind, you know, alright? Okay? Now, reform of other financial hinges on one very key question. Okay? Can and will Amnu change? Okay? Alright? Huh? Then, you have to look at it. Now, number one, uh, actually, this is the second point should be the, the first point. See, we must not forget the fact that whatever it is, AMLO is still the biggest single party in the parliament, eh? or in the political scene of Malaysia. Once that is 9 out of 176 contested, they won 67 percent, more than MCA, MIC, and Rakan in terms of percentage. What? Okay, that means the support base is too strong. Alright? Not that we we want more than two thirds of the seats that we contested. Or almost thirty six percent of the total MP seats in Parliament. Okay, more than one third. So it's still a force to be reckoned with. If the 
engage to engage to talk. But there is a lot of inertia and momentum of the past, you know, especially for a big party, even if it's organization, even if you a small party, you have to talk about changing, you know, it's like Titanic, you know, yeah? it's not easy to change course, you know, alright, and you're not careful, you go into the iceberg and that's it, okay, so there's an inertia and momentum of the past, but you must realize that I'm no, like any party, right? Even though it's mono ethnic, it is not not monolithic. Monolithic means everything the same, everyone the same, and it is not static. Okay. First of all, not monolithic in the sense that, although Amno is nationalistic, nationalist, nationalism is the binding force of Amno, but you have a political spectrum. Okay? You have the ultra and the conservatives. Yes, you have also the liberal and the progressive. Okay? You have the liberals and the progressive, people like Saeed Ibrahim, people like, you know, Gideon uh, or Rafida, you know, they're very liberal. Some of you have listened to Rafida, you know, uh, a few weeks ago. I mean, she was talking as if she's almost like the Siraka, you know, right? Now, so we need to engage and encourage those who are liberal and progressive, and we must also even engage those who are conservative. Okay? So because you we have all the interactions with unknown members in the classroom, many of them are very people, very close and easier people, right? But there are also those who are not, okay? Who are wire and whatever, Jakalia or you know. You have different, okay? And then also, what's interesting is that Amno, since they went into Sabah in the 90s, early 90s, they actually have come out with a statement. Amno Sabah has members who are Sino Kakadan, who are Christians, okay? There are even division chairmen who are Christians, okay? And in Blancan and Kedah, you have finally, we have become Amno members. In Blancan, you have Portuguese, we have moved them and accepted, right? So it's, 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 you know, changing. It's changing, alright? So, if you say that Amno will never change, I mean, you think that's not true. Every party changes, alright? Just that whether it's changing in a, in a good direction, or fast enough or not fast enough, okay? Now, 